So now let's add one more problem statement. Of course, we are going to implement the main function and see it's working also. But for now, let's say we want to log every activity that happens in the parking lot consisting of entry and exit. So what's happening if we see when a entry happens, two things are happening. First of all, we want to log. Second, we want to update display service. Same thing when we are exiting. First thing is we want to log. Second is we want to again update display service. If you see both of them are observers of parking service. So can't we have observer design pattern here? Why? Because now if you want to log something, we will have to make a change in the entry object, right? Same goes for exit method. We will have to make a change over there rather which will violate solid principles, right? So rather if we have a list of observers and whenever there's an activity, we pass an event to all the observers and ask them to update. Now, whatever it could be, they can update themselves, right? So we can have observer design pattern here for all the observers who are observing right now, which is primarily display service as of now. And let's optimize it here. Since we talked about passing an event. So what could be that event? First of all, that event would be of two types. So event could be of two types. Either it is entry or it is exit. This is one. Second, for display service, we have to pass in the parking spot enum. So in a parking event, if we pass what sort of event it is. And second, if we pass parking spot type, all our observers would get everything they want, right? In logger, if you want to have logger also, which logs every activity, we can pass vehicle also here and the logger can log every activity that, okay, at this time, this vehicle came in, at this time, this vehicle exited. Everything could be handled very easily. So let's quickly jump onto the code and optimize our code.